Okay, folks, in general life, this is the Jayco Hummingbird 17RK. The RK stands for Rear Kitchen. Let's look at this, let's go over the specs on this one here, okay? Here's the specs on this one here. Okay, 3950 and 3500. This is half ton towable. You can hook up to with your half ton 1500 F-150 or Ram 1500 and tow it down the road comfortably. Let's go over some things on the outside of this one. Here you've got your electric jack, your electric tongue, I'm sorry. It goes up and down, you, you switch for up and down right there and your lights to turn on are right there. It has lights here and it has lights here and it has lights here. You're set up with a 20 pound propane tank and there is your regulator. Stabilizers on the outside. Once again, there's a stabilizer. Do not use your stabilizers to lift this coach. Here is your solar panel, your solar panel outlet. This thing is equipped with, so with solar outlets. So if you want to do that, you can. Down here is your battery connections. Okay. Here, where is it at? Where is it at? That's it. That's your breakaway box right there for your brakes. You got an electric awning here on the outside right there. And you have storage down below. Okay. All the way through. And all your 30 amp supplies are in there. Okay. Pull off. And you have your low point drain right there for winterizing. You have your cable outlet right here. It's your cable outlet. If you want to put a grill up here, you can put a grill up here. That's what it's meant for. Meant for. Here is your gas outlet for your grill. You got a good spare tire. You got your stabilizer down there again, right there. And then you got your 30 amp supply here. Your cable outlet, right there. And you have got your city water connection or flush valve. I'm sorry, a flush valve. Okay. This is your shower. So if you want to set up an external shower outside, you can do that as well. Okay, here is your tank, your tank flush right there. I mean, tank drain right there. And nowadays in newer model coaches, they're all just putting the black and the gray all in one tank and you flush. This is your kitchen slide right here. Here is your refrigerator vent up. You're gonna, it's right here. So you can access it. You got two vents, one up top and one right there let's see nice wide tires now the reason why they do this with the tires is so they give you more room when you're traveling down the road to put them outside instead of inside get more room in, in, in the coach itself okay this is a black tank flush right here okay this is your furnace this is your uh, you want to when you fill up your tank your your black water your gray water tank scratch that you fill up your fresh water tank this one here is your city water connection okay just like that when you're gonna hook up at an RV park you can hook up at an RV park your hot water heater okay and another stabilizer down there all right let's head on inside this this hummingbird coach and see what amenities she has to offer now it may be kind of bouncy but not much you can do about it oh I can barely fit the door is really nice it's got your slide here to access your handles here um, it should this is a tensioner right here so it'll, it, it eliminates your door from flopping open during the wind your door handle your door lock your screen door opener right there 
you want to close the door on a nice pretty day you can or you want to have your screen door open on a nice pretty day you can let's head on inside and see what we got now as I said before this is an RK model Ugh. this is an RK model meaning that the kitchen is in the rear okay I like this design I really do um, you got your uh, microwave oven right there okay and this is a high point so to open this fridge you take your little you take this knob and you push it up all in one hit got a camera just like that okay it's a nice size refrigerator it is a domatic and you could operate it off gas or electric okay you got one you got a, a nice nice deep sink in here nice deep sink in here a two burner stove you have storage here on the back you know I don't know if you can put pots or pans back there but you can put something back there you got a small little spice rack right here you can put your hanger rags right there let's go down below here in the storage you got plenty of plenty of plenty of storage back up in here of course you got your drawers right there and chemicals for your potty and just odds and ends stuff for the hummingbird and more storage there now I'm gonna come back out this is your kitchen and your dinette slide out right here okay they uh, you have storage up in here right there what oh, love this model storage up there and you have storage over there this table here will lower down this table here will lower down and you can put your cushions out and have an extra bed space here you have storage here and again you have storage here right here nice there looks to be like an outdoor table right here okay let's go head into bathroom now here they have a step up ooh, ooh. they have a step up bathroom okay so this is considered a wet shower okay you have your potty you have your sink which yeah you have your sink and you have your shower head or your shower or your water spigot okay you have a looks like to be a little light up there and you have your fan up there okay now you can close this off with the uh, shower curtain and close the door or whatnot okay let's look back here in the bathroom bedroom real quick again you have nice ample storage here this is your TV the antenna speakers you have recessed lighting your smoke detector you have more recessed lighting there in the back you have a nice bed right here okay and if you pan around over here you have your TV which can actually come out while you're sitting there and you can watch TV or you can flip this TV and watch TV while you're eating eating dinner okay put that back you have windows on each side windows there okay uh, let's see what else we got here of course you got your vent uh, your vent up here now here is your workstation for this coach you got your awning in and out your slide in and out this is how you check for your tank you, you turn your water pump on you turn your water heater now, the water heater can go both ways it can go gas or it can go electric okay you turn your water pump on this is how you test to see where you're at in your um, your tanks what you've got in your tanks okay I'm not sure what that one does so this one here does not have ducted air 